Good day, viewers. Thought I'd do just a little quick vlog today. We've had nothing but rain here lately. I need to get out and cut the grass, but it's been too wet. If I try to go down through the yard and that zero I'll turn on more, I'll be done. Tore up half the property. Got to let it get dried up a little bit before I cut the grass. I was in there watching the news, and there's something come to mind that I thought I'd discuss a little bit. And uh, let's just call them idiots, dummies, fools, whatever. Some people get excited about getting thrills out of something. Like uh, going to the fairgrounds and going around on one of them rockets or <clears throat> over at Six Flags over Georgia and went up on one of them parachute drops and drop shit from a parachute. I've done that, but I, it just, I just don't like high places. We went up to Stone Mountain one time and uh, rode that cable car all the way to the top of Stone Mountain. And I said to myself, if I ever get down from this cable car ride, I ain't never going on another one. And it wasn't two years later that we went back down there and Terry Mary and her brother, he was one of them. They went up on the top of Stone Mountain and uh, rode the cable car. I said, I'll see y'all when you get back down. I ain't going up there. Well, I just don't trust anything mechanical. It's just not in my nature to trust something mechanical like a, a steel cable that could possibly break. Having worked at the railroad for years, I've seen many of steel cable breaks. But anyway, I'm kind of getting diverted from what I wanted to talk about. Um, here on the news, they got this guy that used to, the richest man in the world, Jeff Bezos or Bezos. He used to be CEO of Amazon or something. Got more money than Carter had little liver pills. Well, he spent a hundred million dollars to get in a rocket, shoot himself up towards space, just high enough where he claim he's in outer space. And they drop back into the atmosphere and a parachute lets him down to the ground and they get a big thrill. First of all, riding them rockets is a 30% chance you're gonna die anyway. You're not really going into outer space if you go up to the edge of space and fall back down. They don't actually go into orbit. He's announced on the news that he's going to start selling tickets. You can ride his Blue Origin rocket up there and come on back down. I guess he's trying to recuperate his hundred million dollars he spent. But if you think about it, what have you accomplished? If you're rich enough, if you got enough money to pay up millions of dollars to ride his little rocket up there, you're probably a pretty smart person for getting yourself rich to start with. Probably a lot smarter than me. But I guarantee you, I'm not, I am smart enough not to go up there and take a chance on There's an unusual bird. I wish I had the camera pointed that way. Oh well. What was I saying? If you had the money, would you ride up in this little rocket and come on back down, or would you stay home and find some better means to spend your hundred million dollars on? The very last thing I would want to do is risk my life went up into space and falling back down just so I could say I was the youngest man or the oldest lady or 
the first civilian or whoever to go into outer space. And people would go, people would probably sign right up to buy tickets to go up on his rocket. But you can bet people ballpark won't be blind up to buy one of the tickets even if I had the money. I just ain't got no thrills and I just ain't got no urge to get a thrill such as that. I mean you can get just as much thrill to go out here and play in traffic. It won't cost you a hundred million dollars. You could even rent an airplane to go up and parachute out. That's another thing I can't see people doing. Jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. The only way you could get me to parachute out on an airplane if, if I knew for a fact it was going to crash. Then I'd sign right up for to be a parachute jumper. They got these idiots to go up and jump off a bridge with bungee cord tied to their foot. Well, there's been more than one person got killed doing that. But don't look for people all par to be riding in no Blue Origin rocket into outer space no time soon. Just food for thought. And you can express your opinion on whether you like these thrill rides like at the fair or Six Flags over Georgia, whatever. If it's anything faster than a roller coaster, I don't want nothing to do with it. Anyway, not much of a vlog today. I was going to do a birding video. I set up the camera out there quite a while. Didn't get a single thing. Sit down here to start doing a vlog and the weirdest little yellow bird you ever seen just come up there in the pine tree and flew off. He was very much like a goldfinch, but he was marked different. I went to look in the birds and see if I can find something that fits that description. He moved on or I'd show you a picture of him. Maybe we'll catch him around the bird feeder here in the next day or two. Thanks for listening to my vlog today. didn't make a whole lot of sense, but uh, just something I thought I would talk about. Idiots flying into outer space. It's one thing to be an astronaut and go up there and do your job like flying to the International Space Station and doing scientific experiments. Those are true astronauts. Some idiot with a pocket full of money fly up 20 miles up and come floating back down on a parachute. Ain't no astronaut. Anywho, thanks for listening. This is People All Parts here. Y'all have a good day.